Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage. And today what I got for you are Fram filters, PH7317. And there's two of them. You're probably wondering, why is there two of them? What is he up to now? Well, what I'm up to is these filters, well, one is a Fram and the other one is not a Fram. But they made it appear to be a Fram with the fancy orange paint. And, you know, it's got a sticker on it. So, yeah, it's not a frame. This one is a frame. You see the base plate and everything? That's a frame. Look at the base plate of this one. That is not a frame. That is definitely not a frame. It's probably a better made filter than a frame. But here we are with two of these awesome filters. And, yeah. They are supposedly both Fram. So, you know, who owns these groups here? Fram and obviously a Champ Labs, which they're now sneakily putting as a Fram. That's kind of sneaky play. That's not a Fram. That's a Champ Labs filter. Why put a better Champ Labs filter as an extra guard? I can see that it's probably a better thing to do that in, you know, knowing how Fram are disliked. So let's just mix it up a little. Let's start throwing in some Champ Lab filters to, to, to mess around with the customer. No, that's probably not it. They're probably just, you know, uh, first brand group owns Champ Labs and Fram. And then probably the wiser ones up top said, hey, we got this Champ Labs filters. And you know, let's just start branding some of those as uh, Fram. You know, they're probably just as cheap to make, and we own the company anyway, so nobody's going to say anything. Well, enough of that conspiracy theory. Well, first of all, though, we have these two beautiful orange filters. And I, I know you're just waiting. You want to get the weight on, on these to see what the weight is on these. So this one is the... Uh, obvious you know you'll see why it's a champ labs but okay the fram fram one first with the silicone anti-drain back valve very beautiful is 174.4 grams now this one which should also be close to or around that maybe off by a 0 0.1 0 0.2 because of the covering on top is a totally uh, it's 176.5, so it's 2.1 grams heavier than an original Fram. Hmm, uh, isn't that a coinky dink? Well, let us try here, because I have a OE Plus Motormaster, and this is also built by Champ Labs, but it's got a silicone, you know? So, let, whoa, almost dropped it. Live coverage. Let us check here and see how much this one weighs. It should weigh more because this one I think has metal ends. I'm not sure. It might. 177.3 grams. So, we even got more in here. So, amazingly. By the way, this OE Plus will be taken apart on my show in upcoming. Uh, uh, filter reviews because I want to see how well they're doing nowadays you know I like to go over everything uh, on my uh, in the next year to see how much if anything got better on filters I'm not sure if they did but you know it's fun to see so do these at least have the same uh, probably not they probably don't have the same uh, seal this is obviously rubber and it is 4.1 grams. Put that over there. This one is the Fram 4.1. So it looks like they use the same seal. Well, isn't that a nice thing? Ah, that's an interesting one right there. Uh, first, though, let me cut open. I'm going to cut them both open and then we'll uh, start dissecting them. Uh, we're back again. And I got the Champ Labs one cut open. Ooh, Q 
cute little filter in there. And, oh, she stuck down pretty tight. Hopefully that would be allowed to push oil up through there, but I'm sure it would do a fine job. So there we go. That is the five gram anti-drain back valve from the Champ Labs one. Oof. Yeah, we can surely see that this is, oof, Ooda me. And let's see, 3.4 gram for the silicone. Yeah, 3.4. Do you like the silicone? And now we come to the base plate. Well, as you can see, this base plate has all these uh, smaller holes in it. But, uh, oh, there's numerous ones there to count. Uh, I'm not counting them. It's easier to count this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten. Ten in this one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen? Fourteen in this one? Smaller holes, but many more. And um, 79, 80 grams for the champion style one. And 78.3 for this type. Now there's three threads on the Fram one, Fram made one. And, uh, you know, they always do make pretty nice base plates. I got to give it to them for that. And always like champ labs base plates and we have oh, four threads four threads on the champ labs one so what do we got here oh my we got metal ends ah, is that why people are saying that they're seeing metal ends now on the fram filters because they're just using the uh, champ labs style I think that's so. Uh, I'm going to measure these canisters first. The old caliper. See how thick they are. See if they're uh, in tune with being almost the same. They're pretty, pretty strong. So, this is the Champ Labs one. Yep, it's got the sticker, so. Thirty-nine. And 39. All right. Let's get this one right here, too. Well, I think they're the same. Same canister. Yeah, they're pretty well the same. 39 and 38. So, I think they're just about the same. That's not too bad. Okay, uh... Well, let's take a look at this. So, these Champ Lab ones are made now or have metal ends on them. So, I'm thinking that's why people are seeing the getting uh, extra guards nowadays with metal ends. But as you can see, they have the E Core. And the E Core definitely is a Champ Labs made filter. And look at this thing, it is superbly made. Look at the filtration in this poor thing. Uh, and this one has the Louver, Louver, uh, filtration center hole, not an E-Core. Ooh, that thing is in there. That weighs nine grams. And this one for the Champ Labs, oh, it goes in there so nice. It really does. And that one's 8.7. So let's check this. Uh, 36.5 grams compared to 36.5 grams. What? Okay. Uh, can't wait to measure who's got more filtration on here. You know, these are just cellulose, I'm sure. It's got a still strip here. That's nice. And then a little sloppy. Hmm. Overall half decent this uh glued together here no still strip uh, everything is so yeah it's pretty good i'd have to say 
that's pretty good. I, I'm not going to say anything too bad about that. That is, looks good. Looks fine. And now all I got to do is count up the pleats. So here we go. The original type of, uh, you know, this is the fiberboard ends. You know, not too many people like those, but hey, I prefer to have metal ends on mine. But uh, 44 pleats on the fiberboard fram type of ends and 52 pleats on the uh, Champion Labs type filtration. So, huh, what do we got here? Well, let me now move that out of the way. These over here, I'm going to cut the filtration off. That's what I'm going to do. So, here we go. This is the original Fram type of filtration. And it's, you know, standard stuff. It looks pretty good. It's, it's your standard cellulose. It's fine looking. How come this looks so much better though? Is this impregnated with anything? Or I, I don't really know, but it looks so much better. And um, there's more pleats, and oh, yeah, that took a little bit of pressure to rip apart. Yeah, it's cellulose, obviously, too. It's just, it looks like it's a little more enhanced than uh, the original Fram cellulose. Like, I have nothing wrong with the original Fram uh, filtration paper. It's usually done a really good job in what I can see. And, uh, yeah, about 72, 71 for the thickness of uh, the original compared to... Let us see what this new type is like. Uh, oh, it's a little thicker. 77. So there we go. Uh, the newer paper is thicker from, I guess, uh, Champ Labs there. Borrowing from their company. Why not? They own it. Use it. If it gets people off your back by now having metal ends. The only thing is, please, uh, put a... Um, I know you can do it. Put, put a silicone instead of a rubber anti drain back valve in. That would be real nice. I'm going to measure these out and see what they come out to. Well, there we go. I got her all measured out. Um, the new uh, Champion Labs Fram had 38 and a half inches long, or 98 centimeters, and two inches wide, or five centimeters. And the older Fram. Uh, type had 42 and a half inches or 108 centimeters long by two inch and five centimeters. Now, uh, the newer one wasn't as long, uh, 10.8 grams compared to 12.8. So, hey, this one is heavier because it has more, more length for filtration but one one which which one would people want to use actually that's the question hey it's whatever you want to use i'm just here showing you what the newer one i guess that's what they're doing they're putting the champ labs ones type filters in now with the uh fram so you don't see probably fram putting any of their type of uh Fiber board in with uh, <laughs> the Champ Lab ones. Well, who knows? Maybe they are. I'll keep my eye open. But uh, that does it for this one. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, it's it's first brands uh, uh, groups filters, so they own the the whole thing. And but well, the funny thing is, they both say still ten thousand mile protection. On both boxes so <laughs> 10,000 mile protection since 1934 all right well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed hope you liked it if you did give it a like if you didn't give it a like haha uh, catch you on the next one at the end of this week uh, I'll think I'm gonna do my top
five filters that I reviewed in 2024. And that means only 2024 filters, new filters I reviewed. Nothing other than those are in my top ones I reviewed in 2024. So if it's not, if yours isn't in there, it just means I probably didn't review it. I'm going to go through all my videos and pick the ones I believe are the top ones that I reviewed. All right. Thanks for watching again.